Hello my dear WHOOP friends. This video is about the new one cell HV 450 million power 150 C lipos from Alien RC. My GNB one cell HV 530 million power lipos, which are around 20 cycles old, serve as a comparison. Punch out comparisons await you in this video. Race style flying comparisons, as well as cruising comparisons. My goal is that after this video you will know the advantages and disadvantages of these lipos and know which one is suitable for you. As a test aircraft I use my Meteor 75 Pro in my Butterfly FPV edition. If you would like to know more about it then visit my YouTube channel. And also pay attention to the playlists. You can find the link to the 75 Pro playlist and other links here in the video description. I have made many videos on a variety of topics and also tutorials in which I have invested a lot of time and all my experience. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comments, but make sure you have taken the time to search my channel first. Also use the channel's internal search function and pay attention to the playlists. If you still have questions, feel free to write them to me in the comments. The BT 2.0 on my 75 Pro is already a bit worn out. However, I don't feel a big difference from before, but I want it to be clear. I attached both lipos with a rubber band under the whoop so that the tests were comparable. I did this because the Alien lipo doesn't fit in the holder of the 75 Pro. The GNB lipo fits perfectly. But so that the tests are comparable, I also used a rubber band for mounting the GNB lipo. In this video I always completely drained the lipos but I never deep discharged it. This is very important. As long as you never get below 3 volts during the flight and the LiPo recovers to 3.4 to 3.6 volts after the flight, everything is fine. Believe me, I have 10 years of model flying experience. And I never have any problems with puffed LiPos. No matter which manufacturer. And if I do have a LiPo that puffs up then I know exactly why. Then it was 100% my fault because I got below 3 volts in flight. As soon as you get below 3 volts, the lipo is damaged. And if that happens to you 3 or 4 times then the lipo starts to puff. It's better not to empty your lipos completely like I did. Only if you know what you are doing and always fly with concentration. Otherwise, it's better to land a minute earlier. A short explanation about my OSD. At the bottom left you can see the real-time voltage of the lipo. At the bottom left towards the middle you can see the position of my throttle stick from 0 to 100%. The percentage needed for hovering is different for every whoop, and can also vary depending on what settings you have in Betaflight, for example Throttle Expo. At the bottom right you can see the flight time since the drone was first armed. I have warnings in the middle and airplane mode at the top left. In this case Acro mode. A short explanation about my post-flight stats. After disarming, you can see the time that the drone was geared in total arm. At min battery you can see the minimum voltage of the battery over the entire period of the flight. At end battery you can see the last measured voltage of the battery. And with battery you can see the current voltage of the battery in real time. The G-Force specification is also interesting. Here you can see what G-Forces the drone was exposed to in flight. Or even in crashes. Damage to the drone is to be expected in crashes with forces above 6G. I won't comment any further on the comparisons now. We'll meet again at the end of the video for the summary and conclusion. About the pros and cons of these lipos.
Now we come to the conclusion of these test flights. Here I will give you my opinion as an experienced race and test pilot so that you can decide whether you want to buy these new LiPos or not. My goal is for you to know all the advantages and disadvantages of these LiPos so that you have a good basis for making your decision. During the tests I noticed once again how much the outside temperature makes a difference. I did the test in the morning when the outside temperature was around 13 degrees Celsius. I wasn't happy with how the LiPos performed. In the afternoon the outside temperature was around 17 degrees Celsius and the difference was clearly noticeable. So I repeated the whole test again in the afternoon. Here we come straight to the topic of the effort involved in such tests. The test itself is not that much effort, but cutting the entire video takes a lot of effort. And friends, I'm sorry, but I can't put so much effort into every new LiPo test. In the future I will only make a conclusion video and you just have to trust me. You can see my testing methodology in this video. I always test new LiPos as carefully as in this video. I will refer to this video in the future so you can see the testing methodology. I always push the LiPos to their performance limits. And if I made a mistake in the test methodology then I repeat the test again. Now to my conclusion about the new one cell HV 450 million power 150C LiPos from Alien RC. The Alien LiPos definitely have a higher C rate than the GNB LiPos. I'm 100% sure of that, however, the difference is only clearly noticeable in the first 45 seconds of a flight. After that, both LiPos are very similar. This is perhaps also the connection between the weight and capacity of the Alien LiPos. The Alien LiPos probably have less capacity but more weight than the GNB LiPos. This is of course a bad combo. In the punch-out tests you can clearly see how the Alien LiPo is slightly ahead in terms of voltage sag. However, I think that 80% of pilots do not feel this difference in flight. And most pilots prefer flight time to power anyway. And here the GNB LiPo is clearly ahead. It probably has more capacity, which was also shown in the hover test. However, this could of course also be due to the lower weight compared to the Alien LiPo's. In any case, the flight time was often a little shorter with the Alien LiPo's during my test flights. In other words, if flight time is most important to you, then the Alien LiPo's are not an option for you. Another very big disadvantage of the Alien LiPo's is the external dimensions. The Alien LiPo's do not fit in the standard 450 million power LiPo shafts on our WHOOP drones. Not even without the shrink tube of the Alien LiPo's. This is of course unfortunate. For this reason alone, Alien LiPo's are not an option for many WHOOP pilots. If you have an aircraft with a flexible LiPo attachment and you want maximum power or minimum voltage sag in the first 45 seconds of a flight then you can try the Alien LiPo's. Then the Alien LiPo's are worth a test for you in my opinion. In summary, I can say the GNB One Cell HV 530 mAh 90C LiPo's have a good C rate, a good weight, probably a good capacity, a good flight time, and good standard external dimensions. The new One Cell HV 450 mAh 150C LiPo's from Alien RC have a very high C rate. However, a high weight for 450 mAh LiPo's, probably a standard capacity, standard flight time, and not standard market dimensions for a one cell 450 million power lipo. My final conclusion, personally, I would definitely choose the GMB one cell HV 530 million power lipo just because of the external dimensions. Or a beta FPV lava one cell HV 450 million power 75C which has sensational all round qualities. And if I want maximum power to weight, then I would probably choose the GNB One Cell HV 550 million power 100C. And for maximum continuous power, a Beta FPV Lava One Cell HV 550 million power 75C. Or if I didn't care about the external dimensions, then a Dogcom One Cell 550 million power 150C. And if I didn't care about the external dimensions and the soldering of a BT 2.0 then a Tattoo R Line 1 cell 500 million power 95C. I still believe that the new 1 cell HV 450 million power 150C LiPo's from Alien RC have a place on the market and are suitable for some pilots. Especially for aircraft with flexible LiPo mounts. And for aircraft where a Dogcom 1 cell 550 million power 150C would be too heavy but a very high C rate is still required. I hope you enjoyed this LiPo test and that I was able to help you decide which LiPo you wanna buy. Whether it is worth testing the Alien RC 1 cell HV 450 million power 150C LiPo for you. 
if you got value from this video then I would like to point out to you again that I cannot make these videos without your support. I really appreciate every support. Be it by subscribing to the channel or liking the video, or leave feedback in the comments. This is the only way I can continue to create independent test reports. I am 100% independent of any company. I will always work 100% for the community. Thank you for watching and listening. I wish you many happy flights with your tiny whoop.